Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 3 of season 5 of the Canary Room. Another action-packed show for you today. Uh, we will be on the road, so instead of the Norwich Notebook and the Native Diaries, well, we're going to the All-British. Uh, so we'll see plenty of Norwich and we'll see plenty of British native birds as well there. Um, we will have a look at uh, pairs in focus this week. We'll have a look at our bullfinch pair that we're going to take uh, take a look at. We've got the to-do list, of course, as we get into the the, the real throws, uh, the starting throws at least of the breeding season. Um, so we'll look at our to-do list. As always, some thanks before we start. Um, huge, huge thanks to uh, Mike Burling. Mike, thank you. Um, and hello, Indy. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, to Martin Gentles, uh, to Keith Trestel. Um, um, massive thanks to uh, Mike Duffield and to uh, Cody Nunley over in the US. Cody, thank you very much indeed, mate. Um, uh, another thank you as well. Um, being, being sent a, a little box, a little box of treats, which I am, um, you know, absolutely delighted. It was, it was a lovely surprise. So uh, we have a little look here of my, my grand unveiling of the box. So lots of different things inside there. Some mite treatments, some various different elements of them. Um, of seed and, and some stuff for the wild birds as well so we'll get that out and there uh, and give them a go so huge 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 thanks to uh to the team um at pet source for sending that on uh, massive thanks indeed for that and finally before we get into the show today well happy birthday um, and not to me, no, that's later in the year, uh, but to a, a, a viewer to the channel, uh, a chap by the name of Matt Johnson, who is going to be uh, 21 very soon. Uh, Matt, I've had a, a message from Abby um, who says, can I give you a shout out on the show, which I'm very happy to do, mate. Have a fabulous 21st. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. As always, everyone, grab yourself a cuppa, sit back and enjoy the show. Well, we've uh, we've had a visit to Keith since you were last here. It's always a pleasure to go and see Keith. Um, and, you know, things are progressing nicely. Uh, I think by the time this episode goes out, just before Valentine's Day, um, you know, we've, uh, we've done three of our two of our deep cleans we've got one more to go and we'll uh, we'll move the birds into their cages um their breeding cages so we've still not singled the birds off yet and um, i think this time of year is always a tricky one for people and um, you know i've been extending the light as this episode goes out the birds will be on around 12 hours and 45 minutes of light uh, so getting very close to that 13 13 and a half hours that will help really bring them on in the breeding season um, it's a tricky time of year because Facebook is a wash of people with eggs and pictures of their birds breeding and all kinds and that's great I'm absolutely delighted for them but don't be put under pressure by that we can see I've got a shot here I've got the, the dark buff hens in the cage behind me you can see one of the hens is picking up so she's picked up a feather she's got it in a in a in a beak she's sort of moving it around she's showing the signs of being interested but the birds aren't ready yet um, the birds aren't ready to go um, I might miss an egg I might not miss an egg um, but for me I've got you know a very methodical plan um, and it will be another week or so before I split the birds up uh, and put them into their their cages ready for breeding um, so don't don't be influenced by what others are doing I wish everybody the very best of luck for the breeding season um, I notice with some of the five canary breeders you know they're going earlier and earlier each year which is fantastic we've got a load of shows in the five season now you know those shows are starting at the end of September and they're running all the way through October November and December now so great 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 show season with the Norwich this year I'm uh, I'm going to try and learn by my mistakes so uh, last year I did put them together a little bit early this year I've kept them uh, in the flight cages and will I won't be pairing them up till early March at, at the absolute earliest I will single the cocks off um, in the next couple of weeks so 
really in the canary room, you know, steady away, steady away. Lots of um, good progress. Birds coming into condition nicely. They're where I want them to be. So slow and steady here. Uh, we won't be rushing things. Let's have a quick look now at our pairs in focus. So in our last episode, or certainly the last episode that we were in the Canary Room, we introduced a new feature for season five and the 2022 breeding season, Pairs in Focus. We'll be looking at a number of pairs of fifes, uh, a pair of Norwich, um, and one of the pairs of the native bullfinches. They're just in the cage behind me here. Now it's a flighted native bully cock. It's the bird that I used last year. Um, unfortunately, we lost the hen. Um, that he was with last year so he's with an unflighted hen so he's a proven bird we know he uh, he breeds we know he can fill eggs successfully and we also know that he'll rear young uh, the hen is a young hen um, I've uh, had them together for four or five weeks now they seem to have pair bonded nicely so there's certainly no aggression they're perching together they're starting to show a bit of interest into each other um, but still very, very early with them. So I don't doubt there'll be heartache with the, 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 the bullfinches this year. There always is. Um, but we'll follow their progress throughout the season. So our spotlight this week is on the bullfinches and there are birds in focus. For February, it's very much about a to-do list of two halves. So without further ado, let's look at February's to-do list. The conditioning of the birds is obviously our priority. We mentioned earlier on in the show about the increase in light and we will continue to increase light each week. Um, that's starting to bring the birds into condition. You can hear them now, they're singing lustfully. I'm adding baths, I'm giving the birds baths once a week and they're jumping in there, they're bathing in the drinkers. And when it comes to the drinkers, well, this time of year, I'm, I'm really looking about what I'm giving the birds in addition. So calcium in the water, that's my job on a Monday. So on a Monday, and, and I do it, I do it methodically and I allocate days just so I don't miss things out. So on a Tuesday, uh, on a Monday, I'll give them um, some uh, calcium in the water. On a Saturday, they get apple cider vinegar. And on a Wednesday, they get their, their multivitamins. So those are um, in the birds. They're getting all of that additional nutrition as long uh, as well as the egg food as well. So in the early part of February, I'm giving egg food twice a week. Uh, so I give that on a Wednesday and on a Sunday. And again, that methodical, I just know where I'm up to. It's consistent. It's not, you know, hit and miss. And um, I've also um, been keeping up with the, with the cleaning and the cleaning regime now for the first time ever. I've used um, a smoke bomb in the canary room. I, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you. I was terrified. And um, so, massive thanks to Shane, who sort of put me, you know, put me at rest, put my mind at ease. Um, I, uh, I picked up this uh, particular brand, and what's really important is, you know, you see and you look at the brand as to whether you need to remove livestock or not. So, don't just buy a smoke bomb and put it in, and, and you know, you've got to make sure that you read the instructions on it. I can't emphasize that enough. I was terrified, absolutely terrified about this as a process. Um, Needn't have been, needn't have been, but was. So um, essentially you can see here, I'm using a candle to, to light it. I've got it in a, in a clay pot um, with, a, with a metal pot underneath just to make sure that it didn't uh, do anything it should have done. And you can see these shots here, you know, within I think 30 seconds, the room was completely and utterly full of smoke. Um, and it left a really, really, really lovely smell in the room. A really, really lovely smell. 
I was terrified, to be honest, when I came back in. I was worried about what I'd see, what there'd be there and everything else. And there was absolutely no need to be, uh, absolutely no need to be at all. So um, that was the, the early part of February. Of course, what I've also done is got all of my rings secured. So this weekend at the All British, I picked up my rings from the Midland um, Norwich Plainhead. Uh, I'd already got my uh, rings from the Fife Club uh, and I'd already got my rings from the IOA for the Naked Birds. So all of the rings are in place now for the season ahead. In the second part of February, well, I'll be trimming the birds, both the, uh, the, the Norwich birds, I'll be trimming their feathers, um, their vent feathers, I'll be clipping nails as well and I'll be doing the final treatment and the final clean before I put the birds there and I'll be getting nest pans ready too so that's the to-do list next time but this time out slow and steady conditioning still and as I say that very very scary smoke bomb right let's get on the road It's another day, it's another picture of me in the car. Uh, we're off to the All British today. Um, there's uh, a Norwich section there, so um, hopefully we'll catch up with Keith. And we'll have a look at uh, some of the birds on the bench. Um, and we will see some of the native uh, British birds as well. So um, <clears throat> the weather's bloody awful. So a couple of hours drive and then we'll get the camera out. See you in a bit. The show, you know, the show was in a, a fantastic new location and uh, and some really, really worthy winners. I mean, the soft bills here are are something else. Um, really, the, the work that goes into the cages for these soft bills is incredible. You know, I, I often think about the, the time it takes to spend and put together, I don't know, 20, 25 show cages for fives. I can't begin to imagine how long it takes to prepare these cages for the soft bills. Um, Kev Taylor here with the, the best green finch in there and the, a lovely, lovely bird it was. Um, one of the one of the big winners there. And Stacey Turner's um, uh, Siskin and um, Crossbill Mule, that did, uh, hybrid rather, that did really well uh, on the bench. So um, really, you know, great to see that bird in, uh, in, in the feather. Um, but some of the other birds on display were, were fantastic. And of course, well, there were Norwich there. There was a really good, really good um, selection of Norwich. Um, and congratulations to everyone who did really well on the day. The Jones and Roberts partnership, lovely to see them as always. And their whites taking the top award for, for the white there. Really, really, really good day. And we caught up with this man, friend of the show, Mr. Keith Ferry. We're on the road again. We're on the road. We've got um, got a new face for the Canary Room. He's like my older, better looking brother. Notice I've said older and better looking. Uh, judge of the Norwich Plainheads today, Darren. Darren, lovely to meet you. Um, we, 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 haven't, we haven't met before. Met before and I'm, no. Already I'm taking the mickey yeah. out of him. Um, yeah. Bird behind here, Darren. Lo yep. Lovely looking, uh, lovely looking beast. Yeah, yeah. Um, in great nick, really, for an over-year bird and hen. She, um, I think, she stood out early on when I first looked at her. And uh, every time she get come back, I get looking, thinking it's going to need to be a good one to beat her today. Yeah. But there were some nice birds, and um, you know, it could have gone either way. But she just, she's looking really well. For an over-year bird as well, wing carriage is superb. She's no, you know, the flights are still in great nick. So yeah, fair play to Keith for keeping them in good order still. Yeah, he's kept them in good order, and and some, you know, as you say, uh, some really nice Norwich on show. I've never seen as many Norwich, to be honest, in a show hall before. So oh, right. I don't know what I don't know what the entry has been like today, but there's been uh, a fair few. You've mentioned you've mentioned the winner's name. He's just off. He's just out of camera. So I'm going to pull him into Come camera. In. Come into the middle. Oh, look who it is. Here's a surprise, everyone. Hello, Mr. Hey, Ferry. Mate. How are you? Nice to see you. To see you. Always we, afternoon. Yeah, we weren't on the beer last night, no. so um, we've, got, we've got strong, clear heads. You must be delighted, Keith. Yeah, I am, yes. I mean, it's uh, a flighted bird this time, which um, is nice if you get a, a flighted bird in condition yeah. to win the whole of the section. So, yes, over the moon. 
lovely stuff. Well, we have only just come in here, uh, and I think you've probably done quite well across um, all of the different awards, have you? Or, or do we not know yet? Well, I haven't been down yet to have a look, but they've just given me an handful of uh, different <laughs> special prize money. So, and I think the best on Floyd as well. So we need to have a look when we yeah. go down. Super yeah. stuff. Well, it's always it's always good to see you, mate. It's good to see you in the in the show hall. It's always good to see you in your, in yes. your room, but it's good yeah. to see you in the show yeah. hall as well. The only thing is, we ain't got Margaret's uh, breakfast. No, look no, we haven't. To. We get look 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 at this pair of us wasting away, <laughs> wasting away. Well done, mate. Absolutely no, no, delighted very, for you. Very pleased. Delighted. I'm glad we met up at the show. Super Absolutely. stuff. Behind us, Keith, it's the best unflighted, and uh, she's uh, she's no, no, it's not a first time on the uh, with the top award, is it? No, he's, he's I'm only just seeing him out. I mean, Matt's just dragged me down to see what's top best unflighted, and it's the clear buffet again, which was the uh, supreme winner at Stafford and also best canary in show at the South Box. So she's still looking well. Just hope I can breed some babies from her. So do I. I'm, I'm ordering them now. <laughs> and the yellow cock as well. Yeah, the yellow cock, I've got the best sunflighted cock bird with the uh, variegated yellow cock, what took. Uh, best at the southern Norwich playing it down at Dagnum. Also took best canary in show. So overall, the team's done well. But it's, it's nice to see a different bird taking best Norwich in show. Yeah. So yeah. I'm well pleased with that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, as always, mate, good to see you. And well done again. Thank you very much, Matt. Appreciate it. As I say, it was it was a lovely day. Really nice to see everyone. Really nice to catch up with people. Um, and uh, you know, and nice to see all of the native birds, all the British birds on display, and and a real good, strong flush of Norwich as well. So, very much enjoyed that. So, this week it's just a quick visit to the Canary Room. I hope you enjoyed the On The Road episode. Uh, my thanks to everybody who gets in touch with the channel. My thanks to everybody who's donated. Massively, massively appreciated. Thanks, everybody. Um, I mentioned on our Facebook page about mugs. There might be Canary Room mugs. Uh, so, I've got a couple of things to do. Uh, there's a bit of a long lead time on them, so it doesn't look like they're going to arrive until March time and probably the end of March, but I'll put more information about the mugs on the Facebook page. Um, I've got, you know, slow and steady progress to make over the next couple of weeks. We will, of course, catch up with everything that goes on in the Canary Room. If you've liked this, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit subscribe and hit the share button. Until next time, everyone, take care.